Just got back from the thrift. Check out my check out my purchases. Oh, I got so lucky. I found like a year ago Lost season 1. I fuck with that show. And today I found the full season 2 and the full season 3. So, that was solid. This movie's pretty funny. Oh no, I just got it. I saw Quentin Tarantino and I was sold. So I got this one too. And then I got this. This is like my kind of vinyl record that I like to get. Something not in English. And like when it just has a picture of the, like the just setting. Look at that, like this one. Just like this cabin. And like that one. And Sailor, like this was a dead giveaway that I was going to get this one. Sailor songs from Germany. Maybe. Um, what other ones do I have? Like, that. like this one, like come on. The whole band up in a tree. This one's pretty sick. I got all these, well not all these from the thrift, but this one. This one. This one. That one, that one. Oh, oh, they're slipping. Oh shit! Oh wait, I've been looking for this. Hold up. Oh shit! Dang, that shit's hard. I don't have any... That's my only record that sounds like that. All my other ones are mellow. Oh, should we just throw on the new one? I mean, I just got it. just want to hear how it sounds. I could sample that if I had a sampler. Ooh. Oh shit, which one was it? Oh, that intro was cool. This is such a superior way of listening to music. Like, on my phone, I just have, like, every song in the world just right at my fingertips, and I just look it up. But there's something about, like, getting the physical, like, record, and you don't know how it's going to sound until you physically put it on there. And it's like... You can just listen to it over and over again because it's all you got. Like in my car, my car has a CD player, so I only listen to like these certain CDs. 
just makes it feel so much cooler. So much cooler. The original technology was far superior. So I'm in the process of selling this camera that I saved up for for so long and I wanted so bad, but I just, I mean, I don't really like it. It's a good camera and it looks really good, but it just doesn't fit what I do. So I gotta sell it. Sell it with this. This fucking SD, like, this camera is so, like, it's such a bougie camera. This SD card costs three hundred dollars. Then you gotta buy the card reader for the SD card. You gotta buy the extra batteries. You gotta buy the lens. It's just too much money to just sit on the shelf. And I'm using this one. So. Like cans of fruit like this, I'm just popping up in my Gotta eat it all. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that. From the chicken dipping sauce to the to the peanut butter to the spam. Yeah, that's all the ass though. All the good stuff's in the bag. Dude, the good, dude, that shit looks solid right there. I mean, it looks good full. But yeah, look how really, full really and good. <laughs> I'm about to sell my one camera and buy a IRL streaming setup because that would be hard I feel like I feel like I would like streaming just being able to just sit there and talk to the camera and because I already do that all the time but I would have a chat to like actually chat to which that would be hard because sometimes I don't always have something to say, but if the chat's saying shit, you can just read the chat and just reply to the chat. It's too damn cold out here for me, man. Pass it, pass it, pass it. God damn. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hit point. That's nothing. I don't feel that shit. Ow. Ooh. There you go. That's a good one. Oh yeah. I like your hair like that. Mm -hmm. Andy likes my hair like this. Stooby dooby doo. Um, put the oil in the milk. Oh yeah. In. Yeah, I'll wiggle that thing. Noop, 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 noop. Ooh. Fuck! I didn't do it long enough. Oh, I did it too. oh man. Fuck! So, I got myself 
a new lens attachment for the camera. Let's see if it works. Let's see. Oh. oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. That's wide alright. Alright, that's how it looks without the lens. This is how it looks with the lens. Oh. Oh my god, it's so wide. Oh yeah, I like that. This is my go-to right here. That's where it came from? Yeah. Get on that damn bike. Get on that damn bike. Show, show us what you're... Nah. I don't know how to do it. I just want to see what you're made out of. Let's go. Nah, no, just you. Oh yeah. Let's go. Get on. Get on, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, slow, slow it down. I can't hold on, so no. I can't. Ready? Yes. Oh god, I'm scared. Ah, ah. <laughs> oh god. Good song. <laughs> yeah, we're cool. Oh my god. Ah! It's cold. Ah, slow down. No, ah. slow down. Slow down. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I feel like I can see the future unfolding in the present. I feel like with every little thing I do, I get closer to the life I want to have, the life I'm building. It's all manifesting is just keeping something in your mind so that subconsciously you just work towards that goal Nothing's free out here in this world. Nothing ever has been and nothing ever will be free. You gotta work for everything that you get in life. You just need to come up with a <coughs> a blueprint and a plan of action and realize the steps you need to take to get where you need to be. The internet makes us feel like things happen like instantaneously but no, most people have to grind for years. You just have to stay committed, stay consistent, and have that discipline to keep going even though there's no results or recognition or any of that. You have to keep going when nobody trusts in you, when nobody believes in the, 
and your goals and nobody believes in you and you got nothing to show for yourself, you still just got to keep going. If you stay committed to one thing for 10 years, it's going to take you places. No matter what it is, it's inevitable. It is inevitable. If you don't really go out and chase your dreams and go for what you want, you just get handed the default life, the basic life that everybody ends up living. And the default life isn't bad. Everybody has like those dreams and ideals and what you really want to be doing with your time here on this planet. Everybody has a best case scenario, and you can build that best case scenario. It just takes a lot of time and energy. But you gotta appreciate the come up, you gotta appreciate the journey, cause once you got that thing that you're dreaming of, there's gonna be something else that comes through. There's always gonna be something else. Like there's always gonna be problems in, in life. You get rid of one problem, you get another one to replace it. There's Everybody has problems, rich people, poor people, even if you don't have the societal norm, achievements, you gotta stay focused in your world and stop living up to everybody else's expectations. Even beyond all that success shit, life is really just about being a positive impact in people's lives around you and in your own life that you can actually impact. So, I don't know, I guess I'm trying to impact the most amount of people as I can. That's why I do this, I think. But yeah, it's just about them real life connections, like your family and your friends, creating memories with those people, because that's all you got. When you're dying, and you're about to die, you don't have anything. You only have your memories. It's the only thing you have at that point. So, it's the ultimate investment. Just have as many positive memories at the end of your life as possible. No matter how long your life is too, because I feel like people now just kind of expect that we're all gonna live until we're like 80. But people really just, people really just die at any ages. Like you're not invincible just cause you're a teenager or in your 20s or people die all the time. So you really gotta live right now. You got no time to waste really. Because this shit could be over at any time and you want to have a lot of things that you can look back at your life and be like proud. Like if I was to die right now, I feel like I could say that I was fulfilled for the amount of life that I lived. I feel like I did a good amount with the time. I was given, like people really don't live like they're gonna die. I feel like most of us sit around and just do nothing. Like we're gonna live forever and we can just consume entertainment. I enjoy most technology besides like screens and entertainment. Like the entertainment industry is just kind of like it's not evil, but it's just smart. Like they know, they know what to do to entertain people for hours and distract them from living their life. They just got that shit down to a, a science, down to an algorithm. That's what keeps you complacent and conforming and drifting around life without a real purpose or fulfillment. 
At least it can lead to that if it gets too bad. And it really got us after uh, after COVID happened. We really got got. Yeah, people are just a lot more connected to the screens now. Like I was trying to explain to like, or I, not trying to explain, but I, I just put the idea in the head of my family. Like imagine if in our house we had no screens. Like nobody had a TV, nobody had a phone, or maybe you had like one TV in the living room. We would be forced to interact with each other. But now like, like, even just realizing this now, like, now there's even, like, a divide in our households. Like, it's not that deep, but at the same time, we don't really, we don't even really be interacting with each other as much as we would if we didn't have these fucking entertainment boxes all around us and in our pockets and... Just the division just adds to the division. And that's also another thing that keeps us complacent and conforming. It's like they live, man. It's like the movie They Live. They just divide us all and indoctrinate us with how we should live our lives. And that's what we do. And we work for other people and we we never really live 100% fully for us. And I think there's ways of life that you can create where you get that freedom. I don't know exactly. I think I have a rough blue like blueprint on how I would do that. But it's not easy. It's not the easy route. It just, I hate that you can really just work a job nine to five that you don't have any passion in for your whole life for the majority of your time on this planet you can spend it doing something that you really don't give a fuck about (sighs) just because we need money but in reality we just We don't really need that much money to live. We've become more attached to our comforts of life. Like all these things that we think we need that we really don't. We've become so reliant on these things, so reliant on technology that, I don't know, we just really don't know how to live a natural life anymore. I feel like I want to buy a van, straight up, pay it off, convert it, straight up, pay it off over time, because I work a full-time job too, (sighs) pay that van off, and then I'll have something I can live in, travel in, and it's fully paid off, and I only really got to pay for insurance and gas, and those are my main bills, and then work on the road, work while traveling, save up money, buy properties. Like as I'm traveling around, I'll find the best places, the places I wanna live, buy properties and then park the van on the property and then just build up my house as I get the money for it. So I never have to go in like major, major debt. I don't know, I just feel like that's the way. That's the way for me, at least. And then I just build up the property, build up my house, and then I just live there for the rest of my days and just build up my property. Just build up my land like it's fucking Minecraft. That's all there is. And now I kind of see the stepping stones to get there. So, I feel like that's on the way. I feel like that's on the way. and If I keep that in my mind, I just keep... Focusing on that set goal, no doubt about it.